other freezing rain we got overnight did lead to several crashes around the area. News Channel 15's Chris Darby spent the early morning hours on the roads. He joins us now live from downtown with an update on conditions. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm sitting along Jefferson Boulevard heading into downtown. I can tell you the good news right now is nothing is falling from the sky as far as where I'm standing. The bad news is what fell overnight and into this morning left this thin layer of ice on streets like this one and all over the city. Now, the city trucks are out trying to clear up those roads, but you'll still want to keep an eye out and slow down as you see that ice and that slush. MDOT says roads outside of the city are hazardous this morning all across the area, so keep an eye out no matter where you are watching from. Thanks for that freezing rain. I checked in with the police dispatch a few minutes before the show. They said they've only worked a few minor crashes so far this morning, but that could change as the traffic kind of picks up this morning. I spent some time on I-69 and I-469 this morning. Crews had to flip a semi-truck that rolled near the 10-mile marker on 469. That's near Winchester Road. On 69, a truck slid off the interchange with Illinois Road. Another rolled over north of Union Chapel Road. Crews may still be on the scene of that one, clearing that up. Keep an eye out for that. I did see several INDOT trucks as well out salting the ramps and overpasses along with the highways. Of course, keep you updated on road conditions and crashes through the morning right here on First News. You can check those road conditions anytime as well on Wayne.com. Reporting live downtown this morning, Chris Darby, News Show 15.